Hey guys, it's Ben the Coin Geek at Old Pueblo Coin, and today we're going to talk about a specialty market, a niche market, a niche market. All I want to know is whether it's niche or niche. Go ahead, leave your comments. Thanks for watching. All right, so actually we're going to talk about MS70 Silver Eagles, and it's a pretty specific topic, and I do get a lot of questions on it, so I thought that I'd address address it, and especially I get a lot of questions from newer collectors, and so I want you to be aware if you're a newer collector um, or if you're an older collector, bear with me because I'm going to go through some details you probably already know. But it's important that we educate everybody on this topic. So the Silver Eagle series started in 1986, and they're still making them today, and there's always a lot of hullabaloo about these coins because they're really popular U.S. coins. And uh, back in the 80s when they first came out and even into the early 90s, coin collectors really didn't get them certified. It was really the dawn of certification. And, you know, most third-party grading services were busy grading, you know, really nice coins instead of silver eagles. But I digress. So today, though, people want to get their silver eagles. They want them certified. They want them in nice holders. And uh, it's popular for people to try to put together an, a grade set with all MS-70s if they can. Well, what happened is because uh, people didn't get them graded right away, um, Anything prior to uh, about 2002, it's really difficult to get the coins in MS-70. In fact, most of those coins in MS-70 are going to be $300 or more, uh, including the 1999 coin, which bids in the gray sheet at $10,000, the 94 bids at 6500 and the 1990 bids at 3500 bucks. So that's a lot of money for a Silver Eagle. For those of you who don't know what the gray sheet is, the Gray Sheet is a subscription-based service that tracks pricing. Um, you can always do your own research, but the Gray Sheet's pretty helpful. Um, what I find fascinating is that uh, it has the original holders, MS69, MS70s. It also has what's known as the Blue Sheet, which is supposed to indicate what a dealer will pay for the coin sight unseen. Uh, but what I find fascinating here is your MS69 coins. Uh, most of them list at basically the same price as a raw coin. Um, and a lot of the MS-70s have this more expensive price range on the uh, older coins. Um, what I also find very intriguing is that starting in about 2011 or 2012, MS-70s trade for only about 10 bucks over just a raw coin. So there you go. I mean, it, it's you can buy a lot of MS-70s, it looks like, in the open marketplace uh, for pretty much just a little bit more than silver. So that's nice. It's good to be able to do um, but what you need to know is whether or not to buy these coins in PCGS or NGC holders uh, or some other companies. And so what I always tell people when it comes to this type of a coin, I wouldn't even buy it in an Annex holder. Sorry to my Annex friends. Uh, I would only buy it in an NGC or PCGS holder. And by the way, the PCGS snobbery that goes on is that the PCGS coins do tend to trade at a more consistently at a higher level. Now, it doesn't mean that your NGC coins uh, won't trade at a high level also, but there's that little bit of like snobbery that still goes on with the PCGS graded coins uh, in MS-70. Um, what you don't want to do is buy MS-70s from what I call just like third-party knockoff companies. This, by the way, this is more fun than a barrel monkeys because this, I guarantee you, is all the same company. But if you look, there's, there's three different colored labels and they're actually all three different... Uh, there you go. So you've got the official buyer certification standard, the OBCS. You've got the Professional Numismatist Association, the PNA. And you've got the Numismatic Grading uh, Professionals, NGP. So this, no, don't ever buy anything in these holders, people. They're just garbage. I'll put it nicely and delicately for you. So... Stick with NGC or PCGS if you're going to buy uh, high-grade high grade Silver Eagles. So the next question that I get is, well, if these coins, these earlier coins, are uh, so valuable, don't people buy like boxes of Silver Eagles and send them in and get them certified? And won't that affect the marketplace? And the answer is yes and yes. And I'll tell you what, it, it's a little conspiracy theory, but you see those ones that are really hard to get. Some of us would maybe consider that PCGS and NGC know that, um, you know, a 1999 Silver Eagle 
doesn't come that easily in an MS70, and they may be a little bit more reluctant to grade the coin MS70. Uh, in my mind, in theory, mathematically, it should be pretty close to the same probability that you get an MS70 out of a 1999 as you would a 1998 or a 2000. But but maybe maybe I'm missing something. Maybe it's actually harder. But over time, what should happen is you should start to see more and more MS70s pop up in the market. So this gets back to the concept of a grade rarity, whereas over time, you should have more and more of these graded MS70, and that price should continue to go down unless the collector market, you know, unless a lot more people run in into that collector market. But I don't know a lot of people that are spending 10 grand on a Silver Eagle, so um, it's hard for me to believe that that collector market is going to continue to expand. So I don't necessarily consider these to be a good long-term investment. But back to the topic of grading them, uh, you know, maybe some of you have tried. I know I've sent in Silver Eagles for customers who they see these numbers and they get really excited and they just send a bunch of coins in. And then, of course, what happens invariably is they come back in MS69 or an MS68 and then it is just a uh, woeful day. There is no joy in Mudville. It's just a bad, bad day. So um, although here at the Coin Geek YouTube channel, we may consider sending some coins in just as an experiment because, you know, we do experiment uh, on your behalf with uh, all kinds of grading stuff. The, a lot of this stuff is things that I wouldn't normally do or have done, except for the fact that, um, you know, we have a community here that really enjoys the experimentation. And so I like to play along with all of your whimsies and your wiles. So uh, I hope I didn't say anything offensive there because I don't know what that means. So, all right. So uh, let me know if any of you have experience with trying to get coins graded MS69 MS70 on these Silver Eagles. Um, have any of you hit the home run? Have you been able to get a 1999 in an MS70 holder? Uh, you know, let me know in the uh, comment box. One more thought before I go is uh, some of you ask about the overall cost of this uh, to get a coin certified. You're going to spend at least 20 bucks to get a coin in a holder. So most of these coins in MS69, it's not even worth your your money to do. So unless it comes back in MS70, uh, it's just, you're just spending money, you know, and that's, that's different than some areas of the coin market where maybe you have uh, a little more room in the coin, as they say, you, you didn't spend as much on it. Uh, or, you know, maybe if it comes back, not quite the grade you wanted, it's still a good enough grade to warrant spending the money. Um, you know, that's a possibility on these. If you're buying them currently, there's no margin. There's just none. You're not you're not going to make money sending them in unless you get some MS seventies. And like we said before, anything after two thousand eleven, you really can't make the money there. Even you cannot afford to send a coin in and make money on it, even if it comes back in MS seventy. So anyway, I'm going to go through my old uh, Silver Eagles and look and see if we can pull any out that look like they might grade high enough. And maybe you can do the same. But leave your comments below. Thanks for watching. I'm Ben the Coin Geek. You can subscribe by clicking on the button in the corner and watch more videos on the right side of the screen. Thanks.